Alrighty, folks, welcome to, I guess this is episode 7, because it should be episode 8, except we skipped straight ahead to the military base, because we did two new levels last time. That rule didn't last for the whole Let's Play. It did last for most of it. I should really try and get a good burst combo for one boss. I think... I must have picked up way... I'm pretty sure. Was the other ability what? That switch. It's driving me nuts. Want that hamburger? Oh, these are conveyor belts, duh. I, I was like, why am I moving backwards? Oh right. Homing missile, I outran it. Huh. I must have shot that other switch early on accident. Oh, I see. Turn stuff off. That makes a lot of sense. I could have just triple jumped up there without any trouble. If I had a brain. I got hit by the last one of those. Eh, oh well. Did I get the wave beam? I feel like I should have. It'll be a... Yeah. Wave. Oh no, it's not the wave beam. I guess the wave beam is a wave beam? It's been too long since I've played a Metroid game, uh, other than AM2R. Crazy how Nintendo was actually not being too jerky with that. Could actually use the wave beam. I don't know what good it'll do me, but why not? I think when I think of the wave beam, I actually think of the phasey beam, maybe? I also had a very strange thing. My first Metroid game was Metroid Fusion, and I don't hate it like most people that like Metroid. It's not a good Metroid game, but it's not a bad game. Pretty much my adult opinion on the subject. Please don't go in the hole. I didn't. I successfully unhold. That is dastardly. Throwing the guy who lassos you on the conveyor belt. Insanity. Oh, it explodes when you get to the end of your your bullets. That's interesting. When your bullets hit their range, I killed a dude way off screen. Ugh, my... oh, I don't like the burst combo. I'm... I finally decided it sucks. You have to play so... unlike a Mega Man game. Like, I'm sure there were a few games where Mega Man got a melee... weapon. I'm sure they were the ones that everybody hates. Like... Mega Man... 52... Dinosaur... Balls. Anybody remember Brintlefloss? Is he still around? Like, really, the first I was super... I think I literally played the original Mega Mans because of stupid Brintlefloss songs on YouTube. Look him up, I'm sure they're still around. Don't know what I'm talking about. Huh. Huh. Right in the saw blade. Okay. I just wanted to get the item! All I ever wanted! I wanted to get going to space! Alright, let's do this quick enough the first time. It didn't count. This reminds me of Chrysalis music a bit, the tower time. This is homing, probably. Chrysalis is a great NES game that my first Let's Play was of, you should go watch that and play that and beg SNK to get it on the virtual console and do a remaster. Give you some Oh poop. Retrying is gonna put me right back here. Oh well. I didn't want to 100 percent the game anyway. 
telling me there's a secret. Well, there's the secret. Just some seat. Which I'm pretty sure means I missed whatever wasn't homing. Yeah, because there's a pixel sticker here, and I think that just about everything. Visible walls! Oh boy, a key. For all the keys involved in Mega Man. All the Mega Man spin-offs. Four combo. Dead combo. Run to the saw blades combo. Get screwed over and over combo. Okay. Got the five combo I wanted. Oh. You are a huge bastard. See? That was designed to break your combo, and it's not fun. That just sucked. The game is about keeping your distance. Aw, oh, those guys don't count for combo, really? This is still a pretty good game, all things considered, but I think that's in spite of the mechanics rather than because of the mechanics. I did not think this guy was going to be... What kind of civilian application is there for a friggin' minigun? This is spooky. I don't like it. I'm going to die. That is my fate. But look how long he spent invulnerable. I'm about to get my bass bastioned. Alright, once more with feeling. I had to suck a little less this time. How much CP do I have for you? I was like, wow, a lot, but that was a different... A different equipment. I can actually just do away with one of my jumps and easily pump the shield up to max. Oh, it's off! Okay. Whatevs. Take max. I'm not afraid to be a wiener. I embrace it with pride. Be the wiener. No, you should. My motto. This is not a particularly interesting pattern. Ugh. And this just sucks. I don't think this... I haven't played enough Mega Man to know for sure, but I don't think there are situations where you just get turned into dodge forever. Back, forth. Oh, he's invulnerable for the moment. Did he just completely miss with that? I like how there's no bullets, it's just he's creating these explosions. Don't want to touch with his mini gun. Alright, well that was a relatively short... You, I was taking like 10 minutes on some of those. I guess I was just busy sucking. I don't know. Alrighty, there should be a story thing now that we murdered everybody, right? I managed to defeat the eight mighty numbers. Jewel thinks that those guys had some kind of septimal power, but she isn't completely certain. Robots shouldn't be septimal. What in the world is going on here? Oh, look at this pixel art. Without any warning, snow began to fall from the sky. My god. How horrible. The problem was, it wasn't even the slightest bit cold. I touched some and realized that it wasn't snow at all, but rather little paint chips that looked like they peeled off a wall, so I ate them. I looked up and saw that the faux snow came from a fissure in the virtual space around me. I felt the presence of a strong septimal power on the other side of it. I was weary of what I might find, but I had to check it out, so I jumped right in. Impact, please, even though I'm probably not going to use it. You've completed a challenge! I don't care! I want to look at what I missed. It is full auto, yeah, whatever. That probably cost a lot, and it's just saving me on button presses. Probably not get enough CP to matter, so we're just gonna start Gateway. 
There's three stages and that should work out just right. The Wily stage, I mean. There's something I don't know about Gunvolt being a Digimon. This is... Very interesting level design. Those platforms only came up in the thing a few times. There's a secret in here. I have to find the secret, guys. Even if it means fiddling with the customization menu. Okay, it must be up on top of this. Uh, not? Oh, there we go. That makes sense. I like triple jump. Quadruple jump. Nice. Too expensive. Oh, this... Fuck. This reminds me of that one part of... Letter V six times, where you... Where it's impossible and you hate it forever. If you played that game, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't... The core gimmick of letter V six times... Oh my lord. Is that you can't jump... You just reverse gravity such that you're... You go to the ceiling or you go to the floor. Which is why the letter V is so prominent. Especially the fact it's in the name six times. I'm... I'm dead. I screwed up hard. Anyway, and there's this really long part... ...where you have to fall... ...up, mostly... ...to a... Hit maze of instant death spikes. And then you have to fall all the way back to hit a checkpoint to save the fact that you got the item at the top. Is this the direction I was supposed to go in? I got one of those things that was a secret but was not... ...secret. Just... ...the way you go. I hate that. A lot. I like how the, the shots hit the floor at the lowest amplitude. There's no way you can avoid that. Can't further lower the amplitude. I don't know if, like, Beck has different... As I was saying, I don't know if Beck has different upgrades. Or, like, different abilities upgrades give him, or higher customization for certain things. I didn't even look at what these do. They got a new trajectory? Oh yeah, I got homing last round. Elements. Ooh, crash bolt. Bolt of lightning strikes where you stand. This can active this can activate it without using any SP. It's expensive as heck though. I don't want that. I want my explosions and my other stupid things. This game is worth the $10, but I don't think some of its advertised features are the reason for that. Wow, I'm gonna have to start from back here. Okay, let's not screw this room up. I have triple jump, I didn't even need to bother with those. Don't jump into the spikes. Is this a boss? No. I wonder... Yeah. I need more jumping power, though. I don't think 4 is gonna cut it, though. I bet you have to come from another direction now, too. Whatevs. As I was saying, I think... Like, the customization is fun. I think it's nice, but it's not particularly deep or excessively useful. I mean, there's a bunch of correct answers that you're just supposed to spend a bunch of points on, I think. Unless you want to use them as mutators to make things easier or harder for yourself. Wow. I... don't like this segment. Partly because I suck. 
Ugh, I'm getting tired. And wow, don't keep screwing up. This will probably be my last recording for the night. But I'll be fresh and ready for Wily Stay. Imagine that you were trying to burst combo on all those suckers. It would be a nightmare, and you would fall to your death. Quadruple jump might save you, I don't know. It's gonna be a part way boss, isn't it? Found you, Beck. Gunvolt. You're a GM. Why are you causing all this trouble? GM, trouble? What are you talking about? Nothing else I can do. Give me your GM powers. My name's not GM, it's GV. GV, Gunvolt, not Gunvolt. Okay. Look at that charge beam. What a what a noob. Should have just gone with full explosions back. Look at how many murders I'm doing to you, even though you have a wave. Well, our health bars are probably the same with Septimal Shield. Okay, boys, it's time to stop. LOLs, thanks for roughing each other up, though. I had a front row seat for the whole bout. Hashtag VIP section. Ha 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 ha. That was dumb. I did a dumb voice for it, too. No way, it can't be. Taseo? This guy is the infamous Taseo. He's a member of Eden, a group of super powerful adepts from all over the world. Power allows him to mess with reality. It feels a lot like our last meeting. Wait a sec. All this chaos and constant fighting, it was all a part of his devious little scheme. Got tons of new vids to upload now, ain't got no time for you jokers. These... Are those supposed to be clapping emojis? Ugh. That guy sucks. Since Beck and I were both left behind, we started talking about everything that's happened so far. Seems like this whole thing was developed by the professor who created Beck to be used as a training simulator. He's trying to find a way out of here too, just like me. I'm really worried. Sorry for attacking you. Are you willing to work together with me so we can get back to the real world? I held out my right hand and gave a firm nod. Together we'll take down the sales, Twisted World. That agreed on, we forged a partnership. I don't remember being stuck in a digital world. I don't remember that occurring. Now use the item effectiveness up option. Guess we'll see what that is. And call it for now. We now use the Cluster Shot option. That sounds interesting. Alright. I need to actually go into Customize. Over here. Where is Item Effectiveness up? I assume that means that set to on, items produce greater results. I wonder if that means pickups or food. Both. Anyway, that was Episode 7 of Let's Play Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.